So I commented, if humans are so cooperative, why do we have so many wars? Which is a valid question because we don't see large scale fighting among species like we do in humans. We do see this in chimps where they'll walk around a territory in groups and any chimp that they see that's not in their territory, they all just pounce on them and kill them. You can say that's somewhat like a war because it's a group fighting. At the very least, it's interesting that that occurs. Green Alloy Liquid comments, when we are super capable of being cooperative, we also have the capability of doing the opposite. Now I did reply to this already, but basically what I got at was, it's interesting because even though he's saying we also have the capability of doing the opposite, referring to wars, it's funny how wars are just large scale cooperation still though. So it's not necessarily the opposite. If anything, it's more because it's just more and more people working together. But what they are working towards is non-cooperation with another group. So it's essentially cooperative non-cooperation. Um, and it's funny that basically the biggest moments of cooperation in history, you know, cooperation that spans multiple countries working together, is just to fight other people, which is totally different from how we view cooperation in our day-to-day -day life, which is, you know, happy, fun, work together, all that stuff. So it's just fun to think about. Okay, the next comment we have is also on this video. 